Okay, taking off from Denver this morning. Um, kind of gray, overcast skies. Driving to Wyoming, so that should be fun. Just stopped in Fort Collins, refueled, and I'm checking, I'm putting this out on the uh, hood to see if it stays on, because I want to do some video from outside the car, but I'm afraid that if it rips off at 70 miles an hour, that could be a problem. So let's check it out. Stopped in Casper, filled up. It's about 250 miles left to go, I think. Looks like there's gonna be rain the whole way, so not excited about that. But what are you gonna do? So hopefully I'm on schedule to get there about six o'clock. to me. Oh, I think I got another 150 miles to go before I'm in Yellowstone, or by the lake anyway. So. My friend Jason is who I'm staying with. He's the guy that works here at Yellowstone. He's gonna be my de facto tour, tour guide for the next few days. These rapids. What is it? Le, like French, Le Hardy's. I don't know why. I call it Hardy's Rapids. I just come here to meditate. Stared some trout. Which is 
What most going on? falls. This comes from the lake. This comes from the lake that way, Lake Yellowstone, and then it's going to go that way down those falls, about 14 miles away. No, about 10 miles away into the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, where you see all that yellow rock, which basically makes you think, oh, that's why they call it Yellowstone. Oh, we gotta go see that then. We're gonna do it, we're definitely gonna do it. All right, cool. We're gonna go by the brink of the falls and stare over it. It's really dramatic. friend Jason managed to secure for me. It's pretty uh, bare bones, but my bags have exploded on the other bed. I'm gonna sleep on this bed. Sinks out here. In that moment, shower and crapper. So it's awesome for what it is. I mean, it's $5 a day. So this whole thing is gonna cost me 15 bucks for the whole three days I'm gonna stay in Yellowstone. So I can't complain about that. Thank you.